welcome back guys so uh, we're going to another trip in the coast in Kent somewhere and we're going to a coastal town this is gonna completely blow you away stay right there okay so I'm just walking to the seafront um, just in case you haven't done so already um, if subscribe to this channel press the bell icon so that you get notifications whenever new videos are released of the coastal towns that I'm visiting right so I've just arrived into Whitstable market and this is the harbour market and unfortunately it's closed because during winter time it's only open on weekends so the times are more limited compared to in the summer so I'm on a portion of um, Whitstable here, which used to be, uh, there used to be a train line over here that used to link Whitstable and Canterbury. They used to transport passengers and coal. Sadly, that's all been dismantled and it's a cycle lane at the moment now. Not far from Whitstable Market, in the Black Building, there's a place called South Key Shed, with a range of food outlets such as a burger joint, sushi, and various other street food that you can think of. It also has a couple of bars to enjoy drink, overseeing the view of the sea. You can also find some souvenir shops for anything marine related. It's a shame I can't ride that bicycle though. Right, so as always, living life on the edge. I've just taken a walk on the seafront. Now, Whitstable is quite famous for its oysters. A lot of the oysters that were made over here were supplied up to London as well, to their restaurants and to their pubs and that. Sadly, um, I'm a vegetarian, so I'm not. We won't be able to tell you how good the rest, uh, how good the oysters are. Sadly, I was looking to see if I could find a local who likes oysters to see what they're like, but it seems to be quite quiet around here. So, don't think I can find anyone. But I'll definitely coming back here in the summer where it would be busier, and hopefully then we can um, get more views of the market and the restaurants um, near the seafront because a lot of it is closed because it's the winter time over here. But we're saving the best till last the walk on the seafront. But before we head to the seafront, take a walk onto Harbour Street, which is not far from the seafront in Whitstable Town Centre, which has some of the most quirkiest shops. Like this light shop, where you can find many decorative pieces and unusual lights, vintage clothes shops, and many other stores selling souvenirs, candy, anything which is related or themed based on our marines. There's also many pubs and cafes with unusual names. All right, guys, so just thought I'd go out to lunch and what is more better than going to a seaside town and getting some chips? I'm vegetarian, so I can't get any fish, but I'm glad that at least one place is open here near the seafront. You can enjoy the view. So let's get in that. And we've got a little friend that's joined us. There's a little birdie over there just um, sitting here. And maybe he's hungry and he wants some chips, some of my chips. But yeah, this place over here, um, they sell all sorts of, um, you know, like cotton chips, um, scampi and oysters and that. So yeah, check this place out. Just right on the seafront. So I just had a bird that just tried to snatch a chip off me as I was eating. Then I just stood up and then I just scared him away. So as always, living life on the edge. So yeah, um, it's a lovely walk when you go parallel towards the high street. If you go east, um, there's a seafront, there's a path there which you can walk on. It is all, as you can see, just stones and that's, there's no sandy beaches over here. But people do come down here in the summer and do lay down as well. I've done it myself as well. And yeah, it's just so calming seeing, hearing the sound of the sea. So if you're living somewhere in the city and you want to get away from the hustle and bustle, yeah, take a trip down to Whitstable. You know, you've got the beautiful cafes and shops and pubs and that. Very, very quirky in terms of how they are. The whole um, vibe of this place is just sort of very quirky and it's a very quaint place. And it's got a beautiful seafront over here as well. I know somebody called Sha Wasman lives in Whitstable. She is, um, she helps content creators just to sort of get out you know get yourself out there and just sort of start getting your shit together i've read her book one of her books can't think of the name but if i do i'll make sure i'll put it in the description below so yeah 
So take another walk along the seafront when I'm going to go east and I'm going to go back west past the, um, where is it, harbour and go check out the castle and um, Tankton uh, seafront. I'm going to go around there. So I got a little bit of a splash as I was um, walking along here. I'm on a, I don't know if this is called a pier or not, but um, and I learned a word when I was in Harwich and I don't know if this is called the same thing or not. Um, but yeah, so as always, living life on the edge. Lovely sound of the sea here. Hardly anybody here, but hey, who says you can't go to a uh, coastal town and just wrap up warm and just get on the train and just go and just enjoy yourself. That's what life's all about. Right, so I just stopped over at this pub um, called The Old Neptune, which is on the seafront of Whitstable, just for a cup of coffee. Well, I needed to charge my phone, actually, but I just thought, you know, just stress me about it. So, yeah, it's a beautiful place. There's a lovely fireplace over here. And um, yeah, and it's got the firebox as well, so it would actually keep you warm. It's more efficient than having an open fire. So yeah, um, if you're ever around here, come to the old Neptune. Seems to be a great place. And it's got a lovely seating out area outside. Um, so you know, in the summertime, it would be lovely to get your um, food and any sort of pub grub, quite a bitter, whatever. Right, so um, yeah, just enjoyed a nice cup of coffee at that pub there. It's dog friendly as well. I actually met a dog in there and he was partly wet. So he must have gone for a swim before the owner um, brought them into the pub. But Winstable has got quite an interesting feature where you've got sections where you've got some gravel and then you've got the stones and then you've got some sidings. You've got wooden sideboards and you've got many sections of that as you walk along the... Um, seafront. Onto the castle now. Right, so I just arrived in Whitstable Castle. Um, welcomed me with the arch structure over there. Just walk up this hill and see what's what. Right, so unfortunately I wasn't allowed to film inside the castle. But um, it's just a cafe downstairs where they sell like hot drinks and cakes and that. And upstairs is where they actually rent out the venue for weddings and any events as such. But what I um, felt like I stepped back into Henry VIII times. I think my favorite part of the castle was um, these doors that had rounded diamond shaped edges. So yeah, right, we're going up to um, Tankerton, which is a beach and there's a view on a hill with the lovely um, views. So let's go check that out. Right guys, so I'm just on the top of uh, Marine Parade um, on um, Tankerton Hill and check out that view that view is absolutely drop dead gorgeous 
where you can just see the seafront. So yeah, and just on the other side of here, just behind me, is Hearn Bay. So you can see part of Hearn Bay, which I'll just show you now when I just do another shot, just showing that. Yeah. And you can go downstairs to um, Tankerton. You can also go down to Tankerton um, Beach. There's a little path that just goes down. So we'll probably just take a walk down there um, before I wrap up. then guys so I'm just ending this vlog now on the seafront of Tankerton Bridge which is just I would east from uh, just getting my bearings there east from Whitstable going towards Hearn Bay and um, do you know what they've got some uh, beach huts over here which a lot of them have got very um, interesting colour um, themes like different coloured planks I even saw one which have got cartoon characters and drawings of Tom and Jerry and um, some Disney characters as well so, you know, it makes it like a bit of a collage as such. But um, yeah, and it's still got the um, these unique features of um, having the sidings in between the um, stones, you know, near the seafront. I wonder if Hearn Bay's got that actually. Um, interesting. I've been there a few times, but I've never really noticed that. But anyways, guys, I'm just going to wrap up here because my battery is um, starting to run out. So guys, you know what? If you haven't been to Whitstable, just come here for a day trip or even come here for a getaway it's got such an artistic culture and it's got such a charisma about it i don't know how to explain it you have to come here to experience it but guys i'll leave you on that note um thank you very much for watching if you haven't done so already subscribe press the bell icon and which coastal town do you want me to visit next post in the comments box below and who knows i might be over there take care and remember live life on the edge